How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. On the previous video, we show you guys how to debone the pork shoulder, how to take the bone out. Now we're gonna show you guys how we're gonna clean it up for seasoning to make jerk pork. So obviously anything that's chewy, like this stuff right here, you wanna get this out, but be careful. You, so you wanna you wanna go underneath and just grab it so you can cut it off. Remember, you wanna be safe with everything you do. So obviously you cut it, we clean it up. Now you flip it over, take your knife and just stab some holes in it. What that's gonna do, that's gonna get into it. And if you're making jerk pork and there's no skin, you're not making authentic Jamaican jerk pork. This is what we used to make jerk pork in Jamaica. All right, because you need the skin. The skin, a lot of times if you go here in Jamaica and people are buying jerk pork and there's no skin, the mother say, yo, me no want no jerk pork, brother. What is skin there? So pretty much what I just said was, they're telling you, hey, if there's no skin on it, they don't want it. So if you go to authentic, even if you go to like a Jamaican restaurant and you're buying jerk pork, you're gonna get skin. Cause that's the essence of authentic Caribbean jerk art, or Jamaican jerk in general. So what I'm doing right now is stabbing the meat and that's just gonna air pockets to make sure the season and the rub and everything that I'm, I'm gonna put on it goes into the meat chopping that flavor i'm gonna jerk this whole i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cut it up into pieces till it's finished so that's why i'm you know piercing it with a knife to make sure there's there's enough pockets on the meat to ensure great flavor so like i said you have to use the pork shoulder you can use the boston butt to me the boston butt it's kind of more ideal. The only problem with the Boston butt is it doesn't have the skin because the Boston butt has more fat. And obviously the fat is going to lend itself to a way better flavor. So we're going to get our uh, avocado oil. It's my favorite oil. I use it a lot. You know, rub it on. We could use the breast oil. I just like to use my hand. So like I said, we by you stabbing the meat like that that's gonna open it up to for the oil to get in there the oil in your seasoning you don't have to be shy with the avocado oil it's flavorless so you know you don't have to worry about that never have it tasting like avocado it's flavorless oil all right so now that's the first part of the process and you want to get your seasoning here we have some complete, some Larry, some jerk seasoning, and some Jamaican all purpose. That's all that's mixed in there. Some garlic and some garlic herb. Let me go ahead and sprinkle it all over it. Once again, I always recommend when you're doing stuff like this, let it sit for at least two days or one day. You know, so I always like to cook when I'm off the next day. So I prep it, you know, the day before or two days before, just so. Then you just want to go ahead and massage it in. So make sure you trap all that flavor and everything. In. And another tip is you could, if once again, you know, you don't have time to sit there and jerk this for like two or three hours. What you could do is you could scald it, like literally put it in the pot of boiling water for like a couple of minutes just to kind of like, just scald it pretty much. So it's going to cut down your cooking time. That's the way a lot of people get that great jerk. And then you put it back on the grill, and then the smoke is gonna give it back that classic jerk pork color. So keep that in mind. Because a lot of times you don't have time to sit in there for four or five hours to watch something on the grill because we have stuff to do. So, you know, we really don't have time to sit there and do that. So that's what you wanna do. And the cool thing is you could also put, like I said, this the flavor from this is gonna be really good. So make sure you season it well. A lot of people we using Walker's jerk. You can use any jerk that you want. You can even make your own. And depends on your family and depends who you're cooking it for. Some people are sensitive to jerks. Some people is not. Some people like it really hot. Some people like it mild. So it's always best to go with the mild. And then they could always add on 
you know, extra later. So it's always better for it not to be so hot because if it's so hot, you can't take it off. But if it's mild, you could always add on eat. You could always make it spicy by adding something else in the process. All right. So this is how you just you make your authentic Jamaican jerk. Like I said, you can scald it. And by by me making the air pockets earlier, what that's gonna do is that's just gonna ensure that the seasoning is gonna soak up through the skin because of the air, the stabs that I put in it earlier. So you wanna cook this on slow heat. I'm definitely gonna have a video showing you guys how obviously how to jerk it. So you know if it's your first time to the channel. Consider subscribing. We do a lot of cool things over here where you know we show you all three phases. We show you how to cut it, how to season it, and how to cook it. You know, if you would like, we show you how to eat it. So, pretty much, see, they got them cuts. What that's gonna do is trap in all the flavor. All right, so that's that's it. You just wanna go ahead. Okay, I missed that spot. Y'all, you couldn't tell me I missed that spot. I right, rub that spot in. All right, you let this sit for two days in your fridge. And I guarantee you, anybody you serve this to, they're not gonna say, yo, Jamaica, them the brother. But ease up off of that right now. All right, so pretty much, you know, with the corona going on, you know, I'm trying to make as much Jamaican dishes as I can to remind me. So, you know, yeah, they're close, but you know, just have to bring yard, come on far in more time. Pretty much I'm just saying, you know, because of the corona, no, we, a lot of us can't travel to Jamaica, so we got to try to make a much Jamaican dishes to make us feel like we're in Jamaica. So, on the next video, we're going to show you guys how to cook it. So, we're going to let it sit for two days. And as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And have a wonderful day. Alright, yeah, before I, I forgot to put the most important seasoning. This right here is like the onions and stuff. That make... I don't know what I was thinking when I forgot that, but yeah. I remembered, so I'm gonna add it on to the video. There's just a little bit of grist jerk I had left over, so I'm just gonna use it on top. So you have to have these your, your thyme, your scallion, and your you know, your, your onion on them something there. When you try the Jamaican jerk, yeah, yeah. I don't know, a woman did I think, I don't know what I was thinking. Of. And I almost forgot those key ingredients. So you want to make sure you have them on both sides. All right. You make sure you have them on both sides when you season in your jerk. The green onion. The scallion. The bell pepper. And them something there. The thyme and them something there. Yeah, you have to them something there. Because those things are going to give, you know, additional flavor. So you got to have those. So I don't know. Yes. I guess I was too busy thinking about Jamaica. I forgot the most key ingredients. So there you go. I make sure I add them in. So like I said, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And have a wonderful day. Guys, so this is the picnic that we got soaking in the jerk seasoning with the onions and peppers. You want to take that off. That was just there strictly for flavoring. So now we're going to go ahead and put it in a pot of hot water to show you guys how to boil it. Alright, now we're going to put it in the hot boiling water like we spoke about when we're seasoning it. So now when you do this, you put it in some hot scalding water, right? What that's going to do is that's going to scald it. And that's going to cut down your cooking time. And you're still going to get the flavor. So that's how they do it in Jamaica. Sometimes you boil the pork first, not for too long, probably like five minutes, just to get, just to start the cooking. So that way it cooks a lot quicker on the grill. And just because you're at home, I mean, you could just, I mean, I know some people don't do it, but I'll do it. Just add the peppers and everything in, on top of it into the, the water. Once again, you're not going to put those on the grill because they're going to mess up the fire, but just put them on there just to trap your flavor in. And after two and a half minutes, you flip it and do the other side. All right, look at that. That smells good on its own. And once again, we got the peppers and everything laying on top. What that's gonna do is just add an extra flavor with the thyme and everything, the scallion. So that's just us adding a ton of more flavor. So we got a couple more minutes, then we're gonna flip it to the other side and then go drop it on the grill. See, there you go. That's the key thing that you need. All right, 
Now we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. Ooh, she's giving us a little problem. I'm gonna try not to make a mess. There you go, we got it. All right. There you go. So now by doing this, now the other two minutes, then we're done. And we're gonna put it on the grill. All right, now it's finished. Now we're gonna move it on to the grill and continue from there. All right, now we're gonna add back some jerk sauce just to try to get back the jerk flavor because he was boiling it for a while. Don't worry about it. Then we're gonna let it sit for at least 30 minutes just to absorb back the jerk sauce. And then we're gonna fling it on the grill. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna lay it down face first onto the grill. Lay my face first onto the grill. And that's it pretty much. You're gonna lay it down face first. And a couple of minutes and we're gonna come back and check on it. All right, now, before you put it back on, make sure it's completely dry. Because if it's not completely dry, obviously you're gonna out the fire and a lot of white dust is gonna come up. So after you take it out, you wanna make sure you dry it off completely with like paper towels or if you have a clean rag or something to dry it off. But for right now, it's just sitting. We're gonna go let it sit on the heat and just finish it up. So that's the skin. Remember, if you're doing Jamaican jerk and you don't have the skin on it. And the reason why I left it a hole like this is gonna take me even longer. Because you know, every Christmas time, people always do like poor curls. They always do like, Boneless pork roast or crown roast or French style. That's how I'm gonna do like a whole picnic, and then tie it back together, and present it as a as a jerk. So that's why I left it whole. But if you were to cut it up in smaller pieces, it would cook a lot quicker. But because of the purpose I'm doing it, that's why I left it whole. Uh, all right, guys, we finished. That's what it came out with. That's the jerk whole picnic, jerk pork. That's what it looked like. Look at the crust. Everything is done. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over. Show you what it looks like. And we're gonna cut it and plate it so you can see it with the sauce. Flipped it over. That's how the front look. See, no water, no nothing. Completely done. And this is a whole picnic. So if you go to your your supermarket or your butcher shop or wherever, just ask your butcher to take the bone out of it. It's gonna lay down. And I did a video showing you guys how to take the bone out at home. You can do it at home. It's really simple. Just follow the bone. You can check out the video. So that's how it looks, and as always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment, and have a wonderful day, guys.